Hello, hello. How are you guys? How are you doing? How's everything? Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Nice to see you here, guys. Thank you. Thank you for being here uh, today. I really appreciate your being here. This is really cool. Um, all right. Let's see. Okay, so I got a few of you right now. Okay. Just all right pretty good okay guys so do me a favor hey can you please uh keep your cameras on i would really appreciate that i do me por ahí todos porfa eh, traten de eh, mantener sus camaritas encendidas please so i need you to do me that favor um will appreciate if you if you can just do that okay that will be really cool if you guys can do it I will appreciate it a lot. Um, <clears throat> okay. Okay, okay. Si por ahí estamos. Okay, vaya, chicos. Ayúdenme, porfa. Y me eh, ayudan ahí con sus camaritas para tener sus camaritas encendidas de una vez. Please, I will appreciate it. That would be really cool if you guys can just do that, you know. I will appreciate it a lot. So yeah, I got a chat here. I got all of you, huh? All of you guys. Okay, so uh bueno chicos. Otra vez, once again, a uh, good night. Thank you for being here. You know, I appreciate your being here today. So before we start, I don't know if you guys have any question or anything you guys want to say. Alguna pregunta, algo que tengan, chicos, antes de que comencemos. Um de una. Any question you want to say or anything? No? Yes, could it be? Okay. Perfect. So, um, it's really cool if you guys don't have any question. Uh, actually, I love that. Um, well, I mean, I don't love the fact that you don't have a question. I love that you guys know everything. That's, that's the thing. All right. So... Ok, chicos, entonces, eh, bueno, ayer estábamos hablando de un par de cositas por ahí. Eh, hablábamos de, eh, give me just a minute, where is it? Maybe this is too, actually. All right. So, por ahí ayer, uh, yesterday we were talking about the things that we need to do. Estábamos hablando de las, eh, de las, um, Vamos a decir, las tareas, las cosas que teníamos que prestarle atención, right? So that's, that's what it was, right? Um, give me a minute here. Okay, there we go. So, for example, guys, um, for example, just as a way of reminder, just make this thing. Okay. Just as a way of reminder, uh, you guys, uh, you guys know that this is what we're gonna be working on the first section. We're gonna have section one and section two in the week one, in la semana one, right? Eh, entonces, eso era lo que estábamos compartiendo. Ahí solo recordarles también, chicos, las normas de convivencia. So please pay attention to that. Eh, bueno, sí espero bastante su participación, chicos. Así que eso sí se los voy a pedir participación activa entre todos, no tengan miedo, de verdad, no, nadie les va a decir nada, si usted dice algo que de repente no lo dice bien, lo peor que pueda pasar es que yo le diga cómo decirlo bien, eso es todo, ¿ok? Así que de ahí, démosle, participemos, sin miedo, ¿ok? No fear, that's, that's what we have to do, all right? Um, so, uh, Give me a minute right here. Uh, okay, well, anyways. So, entonces, eh, ahí chicos, eh, bueno, esto lo logramos ver con ustedes también, que el inicio de nuestras clases es el 19 de junio, right? Eh, it was yesterday. Vamos a terminar por ahí por el uh, 13, July 13. So that's pretty much what we have to do. Siempre en el mismo horario, ¿verdad? Eh, de 8 a 9, 60 minutitos que se pasan rápido volando. Eh, y ahí, siempre ayudarme con las camaritas, ¿ok? Mantener las camaritas encendidas para que de repente no siente que estoy hablando yo solo, ¿verdad? Para que poder ver ahí sus, sus reacciones. Así es más divertido cuando ponen las caras así de... No, <ríe> mentiras. <ríe> Pero sí, 
eh, es mejor tenerlos ahí para no sentir que estoy hablando yo solo. ¿verdad? Bueno, entonces eso era lo que estuvimos hablando ayer. Eh, vean, en la sección esta, sección 1, tenemos, se llama It's Nice to Meet You, que es como el nombre de la humanidad. And so, these are the topics. Estos serían los topics que vamos a estar viendo en esa section. Sería, my name is Jennifer Miller, like my possessives, which are my, your, his, and her. The alphabet, the verb to be, and numbers 1, 2, 10, and the phone numbers. So that's what we're going to be doing, okay? So, um, questions, guys? Any comment? Anything you want to say? Algún comentario? Confesión? No sé algo. <laughs> okay, anything you want to say? No? No? Todo clarito? Va, perfecto. Démosle. Oh. Démosle con todo. Vaya, antes de comenzar por ahí, chicos, eh, quisiera comenzar eh, tomando la asistencia. Les digo, son las formalidades. By the way, ustedes tienen que estar como conectados acá porque, de hecho... Eh, les toman en cuenta los minutos que ustedes están conectados aquí en la clase, right? So that's what you need to pay attention to, ¿ok? Entonces no es no hay tales de decir, bueno, yo solo voy a meter, voy a decir hola, adiós, aquí estoy y me voy. No, no se puede. Lo siento, lo siento mucho. <ríe> ahí les van a contar los minutos porque Zoom genera ahí la asistencia para que vean cuántos minutos y todo eso. So, bueno, voy a, eh, sí les voy a pedir ayuda con eso. Tratemos de estar pendientes, por favor, please. <ríe> Entonces, ahí yo les voy a llamar por su nombre y usted me dice, I'm here, o no estoy, o lo que sea. Pero me avisa si está o no está. <ríe> ok, so let's go with uh, eh, Abigail. Elizabeth. I am here. Thank you. Uh, Alejandro Antonio. Present. Thank you so much. We go with Anderson. Jeremy? Present. Thank you so much. Blanca Stephanie? I am here, teacher. Thank you so much. Now let's go with uh, Briseida Lisbeth. No, okay. So we go with uh, Camille, Camila Lisset. Thank you. Uh, Carlos Aníbal. Present, teacher. Thank you. Cecia Jemima. No? Okay. Claudia Marcela. Claudia Marcela, no? Uh, Cristian Daniel Alvarado Briseño. I am here. Thank you so much. Then we go with Elsie Gabriela. No, okay. Then we go with uh, Emilio Isaac. Present. Thank you. Let's go with um, Estela Elizabeth. I'm here. Appreciate it. Um, Marisol. Okay. Uh, Fernando Jose. I'm your teacher. Thank you. Right. Um, Floricia Menjibar. Thank you. Uh, Glenda Guadalupe. No, okay. Hazel Marcela. I'm here. Okay. Ingrid Esmeralda. Present, Thank you. Let's go with Iris Milena. Present. Thank you so much. Uh, let's go with Jaime uh, Alexander. Nope. Let's go with uh, 
Jaime Ivan Ventura. I am here, teacher. Thank you so much, Jaime. Let's go with uh, Juana Isabel. Presente, teacher. Appreciate it. Karina. Presente, teacher. Perdón, Karina Jamilet. Sí, ahí está. Thank you. Okay. Carla eh, Joana. Carla Marcela. I'm here. Presente. Thank you. Crisia Doria. I'm here, teacher. And Lazaro, Eduardo. I'm here, bro. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, okay, so listen. This is what we're going to be talking about today. We have a couple of things um, that we're talking about. Okay. Uh, so I got your attendance right here. So we're putting that, so that's pretty good. Now, um, let me just share my screen right here so you guys can... Gonna leave it right here. All right, guys. Can you can you see my um? Awesome. Can you see my screen right now? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. Listen. Yes, yes. Uh, this is the platform where you guys need to be working at. So as I said, if you can do this before before the class or after, it's pretty good. You guys can do it, and that's gonna be awesome. Now, eh, vamos a estar, esos son los contenidos que vamos a estar viendo en la clase, right? Entonces, ustedes pueden de repente avanzar. Eh, acuérdense, bueno, esta semana vamos a cubrir dos secciones, la sección uno y la dos, right? Eh, so, you guys make sure about that, okay? Eso es lo que vamos a estar haciendo. Eh, ayer me preguntaba, no me recuerdo si fue Iris, um, alguien me preguntaba sobre los exámenes del midterm y todo eso. Sí, son los exámenes que están aquí en la plataforma. Esos son, no, eh, que si sí están cargados, ahí están, así que no habría que, eh, bueno, ahí les van a aparecer también, ya cargados y todo, cuando sea el tiempo, ustedes los van a ir viendo eh, según la sección y la semana. Así que usted solo tiene que asegurarse de completarlos y that's it, ¿ok? Eh, no me recuerdo quién me preguntaba eso, pero ahí está, ¿ok? That's, that's what we need to do. Sí, teacher, yo le pregunté, gracias. Okay, you're very welcome, Iris. You're very welcome. Okay, guys, so let's start with this right now. And I want to tell you, esto es lo que vamos a ir completando. Ayer yo les mostraba lo que vamos a, eh, lo que vamos a estar haciendo, right? So, cada vez que usted vaya completando uno, le va a ir apareciendo el chequecito verde. Yo no sé cuántos ya comenzaron a trabajar por ahí, que sería perfect, right? Eh, ahora bien, eh, the objective uh, from what we're going to start today is that by the end of this lecture, the participants will be able to greet and introduce themselves using the verb to be. So this is our adjective today. Now that we know this, we're going to continue, okay? Introduce, eh, cuando usted dice introduce yourself, es como presentarte a ti mismo, okay? No es como introducirte, okay? Es presentarte, okay? Introduce. That's what we, that's what we say. Okay, and so here we have a short video. I'm going to play the video right here so you can watch it and you can uh, try to listen and read, okay? Así que les voy a poner por acá este video que yo sé que probablemente ya lo vieron, pero es a little bit of the explanation that uh, we need, okay? Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to introduce... Can you hear that? Yo sé que el volumen es poco del video, pero no se pueden escuchar. Can you hear that? Yes? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Let's go. Yeah. In, English. in order to do this, you'll listen to a short audio program, which you'll need to listen to and repeat. Let's get started. Now, please, listen, listen and repeat. Okay, listen and repeat. Hi, my name is Michael Oda. I'm Jennifer Miller. It's nice to meet you, Jennifer. Nice to meet you, too. I'm sorry, what's your last name again? It's Miller. You may access this audio program as many times as necessary. It's recommended that you practice with someone if 
you have someone to practice with, that will be great. In our next lesson, I'll teach you how to form your own conversations using your own information and the grammar involved. All right. That's pretty much the conversation that we have there. Now, guys, uh, les mencionaba ayer también, por acá tenemos el student's manual. Así que el, estudiant, el manual del estudiante es lo que van a ver acá. Es básicamente esto de acá, el manual. Entonces, chicos, ustedes pueden accesarlo también para que ustedes puedan leerlo, puedan uh, read it as many times as you want, ¿ok? So that's what you want and that's what you need to do. Ok. Entonces, por acá tenemos esta conversation and it says, well, I actually need two volunteers. Uh, can you raise your virtual hand if you want to be a volunteer? Any volunteer? Okay. Cool. Oh, my bad. All right, and I got Raider Stella. Thank you so much. Okay, let me just move this down here. Okay, cuando les pida voluntarios, chicos, dependiendo de los que necesite y así, eh, que les levanten la manita más rápido porque ahí me aparece en orden, pues ahí ah, con ellos voy a auxiliarme, ¿ok? Entonces, eh, también vamos a tratar de darle oportunidad a todos a la hora de participar y cuando estemos haciendo todo eso, ¿ok? So that's... That's pretty much what I wanted to say about that. Okay, so for now, I got the two volunteers right here. Tengo los dos voluntarios. So that will be Estela and Crisia. So Estela, do me a favor. You're going to be Michael and Crisia. You're going to be Jennifer. So the conversation. Use your own names. Sus propios nombres. You can use your own names and all that. Okay, so let's go. Who is the first one? You are Me. the first one, Stella. Ah, okay. And uh, Chrysia, you're going to be Jennifer. Jennifer. Okay. Yes. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Castro. I'm Chrysia Menjiva. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I'm sorry. What's your last name again? It's Menjiva. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, yes. So it says, I'm sorry, what's your last name again? So that's something pretty good that we have. Now, if I ask you right now, yo sé que puedo ver sus nombres y todo, okay? Pero si yo le pregunto, Fernando José, what's your name? ¿Qué me respondería, Fernando? Uh, my name is Fernando. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Aníbal. Si le pregunto a Aníbal, what's your name? ¿Qué respondería Aníbal? I am Carlos Martínez. Ah? So, Aníbal Martínez, perdón. Good job. Yes, yes, yes. And that's actually what we have, guys. And that is what we need to focus on, okay? So, Ben, I have right here some information, and it says, my name. My name is Christian, okay? My name is Christian. But my last name is Valladares. We'll talk about this in a minute. Ya vamos a hablar de esto. Okay. My name. My name is Christian. My name. My last name is Valladares. Okay. Valladares. That's my last name. Okay. But if I ask you right now, uh, let's see. I can ask this question. What's your name? Okay. All right. And then I can ask the question, what's your last name as well? Y le pregunto, Jaime Iván Ventura Castro, what's your name? ¿Qué me diría? What would you say? My name is, my name is Jaime Ventura. Good job, yes. That's what it is. And listen, hay otra forma incluso que nosotros podemos decir. Y podemos usar acá. Tenemos dos formas. La forma que Jaime ya nos compartió y Fernando también. Y también podemos decir, am. Um. So, if I say, Anderson, Jeremy, Molina, Celaya, what's your name? My name is Anderson. My name is Anderson. Oh, también podemos decir, I'm Anderson. Or you can say, I'm Anderson. I'm Christian. Okay. But listen, if I say, for example, Carla Marcela, what's your last name? My last name is Cruz. Good job. Yes. So that's what it is. Or you can also say, it's Cruz. It's Vasquez. 
Okay. All right. That's what it is. Vean, entonces acá, chicos, nosotros tenemos dos formas. Les voy a decir, uh, o sea, les voy a decir eso. Tenemos dos formas eh, que podemos eh, decir. Por ejemplo, tenemos acá, cuando hablamos del name, decimos my name. O solo podemos decir am. Um. Y se los voy a decir ya, vean que los norteamericanos, ellos como que les gusta hacer las cosas bien um, cortas, ¿eh? no les gusta going around the bushes, como ir alrededor de los um, atochos, como se diga, la, de los arbustos, right? <laughs> that's what it is. That's the word. So that's the thing. Pero entonces ellos hacen contractions. Y entonces eso son formas más cortas de decir las cosas. So for example, Acá yo puedo decir it's Vázquez or it's Valladares. So those are two different ways. Those are two different ways that we can say that, that we can use it. Okay. So this is how we have it. Entonces, we have two questions. What's your name and what's your last name? So, questions about this? Any question about this? ¿Alguna pregunta sobre esto? Do you have any question about this? No. No? No. Okay. No. Good, good, good. Okay, so then I'm going to go right now with, let's see, I'm going to ask, Okay, give me a second here. All right, so I'm going to ask right now, uh, let's see, Carla, Carla Joana Martinez. What's your last name, Carla? It's Martinez. It's Martinez, good job. Now, Carla, ¿puede hacerle esa pregunta a alguien más, please? Can you ask this question to somebody else, please? Esa o esta otra? To one of your classmates. Okay. What's your last name, Carla Marcela? It's Cruz. It's Cruz. Now, Carla, can you ask that question to one of your classmates, please? Mm -hmm. Carla, can you ask the question to one of your classmates, please? Any of these questions. It can be, what's your name or what's your last name? Any of those questions. Just choose one of your classmates. Elija uno de sus compañeros y pregúntele. Please. ¿Sería Carla Marcela o, o, o yo? No, uh, usted le preguntó a ella, ¿cierto? Sí. Uh, la Marcela, entonces, sí, sería ella. La última. Okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Abigail Elizabeth, what is your name? Um, I'm sorry, eh, no escuché. Muy bien, ¿me lo puedes repetir? Can you repeat, please? <laughs> what is your name? Ah, oh, okay. My name is Abigail Noyola. Good job. Now, Abigail, can you ask that to one of your classmates, please? Okay. Um, Alejandro Antonio, what is your last name? It's Funes. Good job. Now, can you do the same thing, Alejandro, please? Um, Anderson Jeremy, what's your last name? It's Molina. Mm -hmm. Now your turn, Anderson. Can you ask that to one of your classmates? What's your name? What's your last name, Claudia? I Blanca Stephanie.
Okay, okay, cool, cool. Not a problem. Not a problem. Problem. I'm sorry. I think it was not for you the question, but it's okay. Perfect. Okay, guys. Now let's add one more question and one more thing. Now I have right here the name, the last name, and now we're adding something else. Y ahora vamos a agregar algo más. What is it? We have nickname. But what is a nickname? What is a nickname? Well, just so you know, guys, we have the first names, tenemos los nombres, and then tenemos apellidos, right? But you know what? We also have nicknames. How crazy, right? So we have nicknames as well. Entonces, acá tenemos los nicknames uh, que yo les mencionaba. Oops, sorry. Ahora bien, nicknames are basically how, basically how you are called. It's not really your apodo. It can be, but it's not, okay? So it's not that exactly. It can be more than that, okay? In my case, my name is Christian. My last name is Valladares. And my nickname is Chris. Okay, so that is actually what I have, okay? So what's, what is it that you have, guys? What is it that you are like, um, you know, uh, that you're using for your nickname? So that is what, something that we need to work on or that, something that we need to check, I would say. That's what we're going to do right now. Okay, so if I say right now, guys, um, let's see, let me ask to Alejandro Antonio, what's your nickname? Um, my friends call me Alejo. Okay, that's your nickname. And that's a good example, guys. Vean, de repente el nickname nosotros pensamos que era el apodo. Y sí, pero no. En nuestro lo es, ok. Hay más. Uh, ¿En qué sentido, chicos? Vean. Entonces, yo conozco una persona que tenía como 20 nombres y no le decían ninguno de los 20 nombres, sino que le decían otro nombre. Entonces... Ese también puede ser un nickname. Entonces, el nickname no va a ser su apodo. Va a ser como usted le dicen. ¿Ok? Ese va a ser su nickname. That's your nickname. O sea, esos son los nicknames. ¿Ok? De repente le dicen, no, le dicen en mi caso, me pueden decir Valladares. ¿Ok? So, my nickname is Valladares. Así me dice la gente. Un ejemplo, pues. Ajá. Uh -huh. O, that's what it is. So that's something that you have to keep in mind. It's not just your Apollo, okay? It's not that. I mean, yes, but no, you know, it's more than that, okay? No, no, no se reduce solo a eso, okay? You know, it's más bien como le dicen, como lo llama la gente. So that's why Alejandro said, my friends call me, he said, and then he said the way that he was called by his friends. So that's what it is. So then we also have another question. Look at this. We have, what's your nickname? That's another question. So if I ask you right now, let's see, Emilio Isaac, what's your nickname? My nickname is Emmy. Okay, that's a nickname. My nickname is Emmy. All right. And that's pretty much what we have here, guys. You see, we have Anthony, Christopher, Joshua, Michael, Matthew, and these are the nicknames. Tony, Chris, Josh, Mike, Math. That's me. What it is. Okay, if I ask right now, Estela Marisol Vasquez Diaz, what's your nickname? My name is Estela. Oh, sorry, your nickname. What's your nickname? Me dijo name, pero solo diga mi nickname. My nickname is... <laughs> My nickname but my name is Nick, Nick Estela. Okay, yeah, that's okay. Don't worry. We're learning. Estamos aprendiendo. Tranquilo, okay? Sí, my nickname, okay? Entonces, ojo, chicos, yo quiero que se den cuenta en esto. Es bien fácil, vean. Tenemos la forma larga de decir las cosas. Oh, hueva, ¿cómo voy a decir todo eso yo? Entonces, de repente, usted dice, no, lo voy a decir cortito. Entonces, viene y dice, it's, y ya, lo dice más corto, Okay. Dice, no, ¿cómo va a estar diciendo que no sé qué? Bueno, pues hay una forma fácil, ¿ok? Entonces, en lugar de decir, my nickname is, usted se lo puede decir, dice, it's, it's Estela, it's Emmy, it's Vázquez, ¿ok? Vea, and that's what it is. 
So questions about this, guys? No? No. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Um, now, if you don't have any question, that's pretty good. Now, I want to ask you this question, guys. Uh, what? Okay. What are some popular uh, names here in El Salvador? Popular names. Talking about popular names. Huh? What do you think? This question. What names are popular here in El, here in El Salvador? Any idea? I think uh, Jose. Jose, yes. Jose is popular here in El Salvador. What else? Uh -huh. Floris, Floricia? Mm -hmm. Pedro. Which Pedro. one? Pedro. Pedro, yes. Pedro is popular here in El Salvador. What else? Uh, Christian? Salvador. Salvador, yes. Carla, tell me. Mm. Maria. Maria, uh, Iris, what's another popular name? Carlos. Carlos, Estela Elizabeth. Josué. Josué, uh -huh. Lázaro. Mario. Mario, that's another popular name. Uh, Karina, Javilet. Jose. Jose, yes. Now, let's do something. Cambiemos ahora los names. But what are some popular nicknames here in El Salvador? Pero nicknames que se pueden decir en la clase. Uh -huh. <laughs> what are some Chepe. popular nicknames? Uh -huh. Chepe. Chepe, okay, yes, that's popular, you know. You can say Chepe. Another one? Charlie. Charlie, okay. Uh -huh. Another one? Beto. Which one? Beto. Beto. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Chamba. Chamba. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Macizo. Ale. Ale. Macizo. <laughs> yeah, that's another one. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. so I mean, we have different popular nicknames here in El Salvador. And so you see, algunos nicknames que si no se pueden decir, no los digamos, okay? So the ones that we can, you said it already. That's pretty good, you know. So that's what we have, right? Okay, so you get it. Nicknames is basically the way the people call you. Se les olvidó los más comunes. Colocho, Chelito. Right? Right? So those are some popular nicknames that we use here, right? Sometimes you're not even white, but they call you Chele, you know, and it's like, okay, you know, anyways, right? That's what it is. Um, so, okay, so guys, questions. Alguna pregunta que tengan sobre last name, name, or nickname? No, teacher. No? No. No. Pretty good, pretty no. good. All right. Awesome. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se preguntaría el otro nombre? Good question. That was good. Okay. First names sería como primeros nombres. Okay. Pero en ese caso, si queremos preguntar por el segundo nombre, sería What's your? Y aquí le agregamos Second name. ¿Cuál es tu segundo nombre. O si de una vez queremos preguntar por el nombre completo, sería what's your Voy a poner aquí. Her full name. Nombre. Her full name. Mm -hmm. That's it. All right. So, what's your second name? Oh, my second name is da da da. Okay. In my case, my second name is Alexis. So, what's your full name? Oh, my full name is Christian Alexi Valladares Chavez. Oh, okay. That's your full name. Okay? Nombre completo, right? Full name. Mm -hmm. Second name, second name, right? 
Yes? Is that it, Lazarus? Is that we we good with that? Sí, y en apellido sería lo mismo. Fíjense que sí, nosotros aquí en El Salvador lo manejamos como primer apellido y segundo apellido. Ellos allá no lo manejan así realmente. Para ellos es como un nombre y un apellido. O sí le podían preguntar cuál es su apellido, su segundo apellido, pero ya de repente le van a decir cuál es su, uh, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Su apellido de casada, si es mujer, alguien, por ejemplo, ¿ok? O cosas así. Pero sí, pero sí, sería lo mismo. Es like, what's your second last name? ¿Cuál es su segundo apellido? What's your second last name? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Same thing. Ah, pues sí, eso sería. Sí, me quedó right. claro. Gracias. Awesome. awesome. You're welcome, buddy. Okay, cool. All right. So that's what we need to uh, what we need to check on. Okay. Now we're going to be talking about something else right here. And what it is, is about the possessives. Okay. Now it says, by the end of the lecture, as uh, participants will be able to use my, your, his, and her in order to introduce their names or to introduce a friend or a classmate. That's what we're going to be doing. So I'm going to play the audio right now, guys. Uh, I'm going to play the video. So I'm going to need you to listen and pay attention, okay? So here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, we're going to... Can you hear that? Just making sure. Yes? Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Possessive pronouns. Yeah. Mine, your, his, and her. Let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is listen to a quick conversation and then I'll illustrate how the grammar is used. What's your name? My name is Jennifer. What's his name? His name is Michael. What's her name? Her name is Nicole. What equals what is? Now, let's try to make sense of the possessives. We use the possessives whenever you want to express belonging. For example, my name is John. His name is Jason. Her name is Mary. Uh, as you can see on the screen, my name is Jennifer. His name is Michael. Her name is Nicole. Let me show you a quick guide to follow in order to understand this concept. I'll write the pronouns and the possessive. So let's see if I want to talk about the pronoun I and express some kind of possessive, I'm going to use my. For you, that will be your. For he, that will be his. And for she, that would be uh, her. Uh, so, for example, uh, my name is Joe. Your name is Jason. His name is Michael. Her name is Nicole. Now, let's try to put it all together by illustrating some examples. My name is Joe. Your name is... Mike. His name is Peter. Her name is Jane. All right. Um, so that's that's basically you know what he was explaining. And so basically the thing right here is that you can play this as many times as you want, okay? Ustedes pueden verlo cuantas veces ustedes necesiten. But this is what we need to. Um, I'm gonna check it out right here. I'm gonna say it for you. And this is what he was talking about. Okay. Now it's just like, what's your name? It's something like saying your, you know, like your name, right? But then we also have like his name that is for boys. And we have her name that it's also. For that's for girls actually, and let me just check it out and see if it will just yeah, right here. Let me just make it big. Uh, let's see what happens. All right, so um, so that's pretty much what it is, guys. 
All right, give me just a minute here. Just going up, just going up, 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 up. Okay, so that's what I was telling you, okay? And one thing that you guys need to know is the following. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about that right now, okay? Is that we have his and hair, but they both can be, uh, they, I would say like they kind of have the same meaning. Okay, for example, this is what we call the possessives, okay? Now, possessives, we have my, your, his, and her. So for example, my is like my name, my last name, my nickname, right? That's something that belongs to me, okay? Entonces, las possessives nos ayudan a demostrar que tenemos posesión sobre algo. En este caso, mi nombre, your name, right? His name, her name. So that's what it is, right? Now, you guys need to pay attention to this. And we have right here, for example, uh, we can say kiss. Kiss is for boys, you know, male or, or men, however you want to call it. And we also have hair. That is for girls, you know, for female, as you want to say it, or woman, if you want to say it that way. But what about if I just have the name right here? I would say um, um, I don't know. I would say Lupita. I don't know. I, I know it's a nickname, but it can be a name as well. So Lupita. So what would it be right here? What would you say? Would you say his or hair? What hair. Is hair. Hair. Why hair? Por qué hair. hair? Why hair? Mm -hmm. Because it's not hair. Because it's a girl, right? And so with hair, we use, I'm sorry, we use hair for girls, for female or women, you know, it's same thing. So that's what you need to keep in mind. That entonces, usamos hair, cuando hablamos de chicas, o sea, eh, right, mujeres en general, right? But we also, we use his, we will talk about boys, male, which is the same thing. I'm just saying this in different ways so you guys can get it. Okay, so for example, if I say, um, instead of saying Lupita, I will say, um, I don't know, uh, what, I don't know, Jonathan. I will say Jonathan. Okay, so what would you say? His or her? His. His, His name is John. His. Okay, now one thing that you guys need to know is this. Bye. Realmente el significado no va a cambiar. His y her significan lo mismo. Es como decir su. Ahora, his es como decir su, pero de él. Okay, por ejemplo, su nombre. El nombre de él. ¿verdad? Ahora, her va a ser como decir su también, pero de ella. Es igual la redundancia. Okay? Su nombre, su apellido. Okay? That's why we use it. His, vamos a hacerlo con. ¿Qué dijimos? Boys, con, con boys. Boys, right? Con chicos. And here we're going to use it with girls, with chicas, right? Con mujeres. Uh, with the woman, right? Okay. So, for example, and then, I'm sorry, and by the way, entonces, nosotros ya podemos venir. Y te lo voy a hacer una pregunta ahorita, let's see. Camila, Lisette. Camila, yo aquí a la par mía tengo ahorita, uh, let's see, uh, Emilio. Emilio, Emilio está aquí a la par mía ahorita, ¿ok? Entonces yo le pregunto, Camila, what's his name? ¿Qué me diría, Camila? I can hear you, sorry, your microphone. His name is Emilio. His name is Emilio, ¿ok? Entonces, ahora digamos que yo tengo aquí a la par mía a Blanca, que okay, Blanca está aquí. Blanca Stephanie, yo le pregunto, eh, Ingrid, what's her name? ¿Qué me diría? How would you say? What's her name? Her name is Blanca. Her name is Blanca. Ok. Ahora bien. Eso es, chicos, como nosotros lo vamos a hacer. Ok. So, entonces, eh, 
Ojo, si nosotros logramos entender esto ahorita y si tienen preguntas, démosle, pregunten, no hay, no hay problema. Entonces, solo recuerden, his is with boys, for boys, and her is for girls. That it, that's it, okay? Nothing else, okay? So that's, that's exactly what it is. So questions about this, preguntas sobre esto? Any question about this? No? Teacher. Yes, tell me. I have a question. Tell so, me your question, um, ask me. In this case, we can use, or we can say uh, the same thing that, for example, what's her name? What's her mm -hmm. name, sorry. And I can say it, for example, it's Carla, it. Yes. yes. Yes, you can actually do the same thing. Yes, you can, for sure you can, yes. Um, yeah, for example, what's her name? Oh, it's Fulanita, it's Fulanito. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can, say, you can say that as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Good question, by the way, good question. Any other question, guys? Preguntitas? No? No. no. Facil. no. Facilito. Easy peasy, ¿verdad? Eh? Va. Perfecto. Okay, so now we're going to do something. Uh, da -da 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 -da. This is pretty much what we had here. Might be able to work on this. Okay. Now, entonces, chicos, solo un recordatorio también. This is where you have to be working. This is lo que ustedes tienen que estar trabajando, right? Just remember that. This is where you guys have to be working. And um, just make sure that you advance, that you check on the contents. Ok, y por ejemplo, ahorita tenemos acá lo siguiente que nos sigue después de ese video es el knowledge check. ¿Y qué sería? Vean. Sería trabajar en esa parte. Ok. So, uh, let's see. Give me a minute. Let's see. Aníbal. Aníbal. Can you help me with number one? Me puede ayudar a resolver el número uno. Le voy a dar un minuto por ahí. Luego, ayúdeme. Karina. Karina Jamilet. Help me with number two. Help me with number two. And then Abigail Elizabeth helped me with number three, okay? So it says, uh, let's see, Estela Elizabeth, can you read the instructions in English, please? Okay. Okay. Instructions, use the possessives, my, your, his, or her to complete the blanks. The blanks. Mm -hmm. The blanks. The blanks, okay. <clears throat> All right. Number one, are you ready, Aníbal? Hi, uh, his name is Antonio. Uh, I can hear it all, completo. Let's read it completely. Uh, mm -hmm. Hello, hello. What's your name? His name is Antonio. Hi. Mm -hmm. It says hi. What's your name? Hi. <laughs> hi. Uh, my name is Antonio. Muy bien, muy bien. Sí, hizo la corrección ahí, se dio cuenta. Muy bien. Al principio me dijo his. Una cosa, chicos, una clave. Muy bien, hay que equivocarnos, yo les dije, ¿verdad? Así que no se preocupen. Una clave, siempre fijémonos por qué nos están preguntando. La respuesta siempre, siempre, siempre va a estar en la misma pregunta. Okay? It's going to be right there in the same question. So, for example, like he said, what's your name? Ah, mi nombre. Dice, ¿cuál es tu nombre? Ah, pero me está haciendo esa pregunta a mí. So, ¿cuál es mi nombre? Ah, okay. So, hi. My name is Anthony. Right? Usted tiene que fijarse por qué le están preguntando. Y ahí mismo usted lo va a hacer. Okay? So, number two. Engineer number two. Oh, Karina. 
What's her name? My name is Nicole. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's her name? My name is Nicole. Mm -hmm. Does anyone want to help? Who wants to help her? Mm -hmm. Nobody? Okay, Stella, Elizabeth, tell me. Um, what's her name? Her name is Nicole. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, but Karina, let's focus on this. It says, what's her name? Entonces, como les decía, hay que prestar atención en la, en la pregunta porque ahí mismo vamos a saber cómo responder. Entonces, acá me están preguntando por hair. So, yo voy a responder con hair. What's her name? Entonces, sería her name is Nicole. Mm -hmm. That's what it would be. So, let's try to focus. Tranquilo. Aprendiendo, yo les dije, hay que equivocarnos sin miedo. Hey, demon, no tengan pena por eso. Pero sí. Fijémonos en la pregunta. Let's focus on the question. So what they are asking, that's what it is, okay? So it's like, what's her name? So her name is, and then you say it, right? Okay, pretty good. Uh, last one, number three. Um, okay, um, this is what his name. His name is Michael. What's? What's say this, what's his name? What is his name? What's his name? What? What is name? Yes. His name is Michael. Okay. So then we can say that right here we need to say my, right here we need to say her, and right here we need to say his, my bad. His. Okay. Then we say, check it, and then we send it, okay? Y así, chicos. Entonces, eso es lo que ustedes tienen que ir avanzando también en la plataforma. De verdad, les digo, si ustedes tienen chance de ir trabajando en esto eh, antes de la clase, revisarlo, hay que hacerlo. Recuérdense, bueno, ahora no vamos a terminar de ver todos los, los, los temitas de, de esta sección. Eh, pero para que ustedes recuerden, chicos, eh, son la sección 1 y 2, las que nosotros vamos a estar... Eh, sorry. Las que nosotros vamos a estar haciendo esta semana, ¿verdad? Entonces, también para que lo tengan por ahí en mente, ¿ok? Eh, so, that's what it is. So, al final, eh, la siguiente sesión solo vamos a tener what's this, que sería... Eh, básicamente una eh, una sesión ¿okay? una, um, una sección right that's what it is eh, para eso tenemos las dos secciones right eh, so that's what you need to uh, focus on okay um, bye so I don't know if you guys have any question no sé si tienen alguna pregunta sobre esto por el momento I don't know if you have any question about that No. Okay. no. 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 Okay. <clears throat> Clarito, right? Claro. Okay. <laughs> okay, bye. Just before we go, antes de que nos vayamos, entonces, vamos a hacer una, una speaking activity. Okay, vamos a, a practicar lo que vimos ahora de, de las preguntas de los names, nicknames, last names, and the possessives. Okay. Entonces, Eh, I'm going to ask uh, right now Alejandro Antonio Funes Ayala. Do me a favor. Just ask one of these questions to any of your classmates. You can ask for the name. You can ask for the nickname or anything you want. And you can ask for hair, his, your nickname or name or whatever. You just have to use everything right here. Okay. So you can ask her. Or you can ask any of your classmates a question. Yes? You got it? Yes. Okay, cool. Um, Choose one person. Um, Fernando, sir. Okay. Tell me. Uh, what is your nickname, Fernando? Nickname? Yes. 
<laughs> uh, it's virtual. and your name And my name is... let me interrupt you and your name it's okay yes you can say that but let's make it complete Okay, sí puedo decir eso, pero pero tengo que hacerla completa la pregunta otra vez, okay, para practicar un poquito. So we can practice a little bit more. No decir solo okay. en name, okay. pero instead you can say en what's your name. What's your name? My name is Fernando. What's your last name? And it's Garcia. That's okay. What? Oh, we have one more question. Continue. Yeah, that's okay. Uh -huh. uh, I finished the, the question. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now you, Fernando, go ahead, please, and ask a few questions to your classmates, to any of your classmates right now, just one person. You don't have Okay. to ask questions. One or two questions will be fine. Okay, uh, give me a moment. Um, Crisia Torila. Um, what's your name? My name is Crisia. Okay, and uh, we're going to suppose that Emilio is next to me, and so um what is his name what's his name sorry le, le dijo que vamos a suponer que tenemos a Emilio la par él tiene a Emilio la uh -huh. his name is Emilio and the last one uh what's your nickname It's Chris. Okay, thank you. Good job. Thank you, guys. All right. Now you, Crisia. We have time for one more. So, Crisia, go ahead and ask any of those questions to your classmates. Choose one person. Okay. Juan Isabel. What's your last name? Max Lane, Cordon. X Evangelista. What's your nickname? X Isa. Um, finish the question. Good. Okay, uh, we have the chance for it for you, uh, Juana. Now you go ahead and ask one of your classmates. We have time for you. Yo a ella. To any of your classmates. I will. Eh, yes. eh, quiero ver a Karina y a Milet. Eh, what's your name? My name is Karina. Eh, what's next name? What's your last name? What's your my last my last name is Gonzalez. Okay. Solamente fiche. Okay, good job, good job. Okay, guys, vaya. Entonces, de eso es lo que lo que vamos a, a hablar ahora. Chicos, si tienen preguntas, no tengan pena, de verdad, pregunten. O sea, no, no hay problema. Entonces, sigamos practicando esto, hay que revisar. Eh, tratemos ahí, bueno, ya se nos acabó el tiempo prácticamente. Tratemos ahí, chicos, de avanzar acá. Ojo, les voy a pedir ayuda con algo. Eh, por favor, traten de, de ver el, el, el video del alfabeto para practicarlo. Después también el del verb to be y uh, el numbers. De ahí lo demás, los knowledge check, los vamos a hacer mañana aquí, ¿ok? Entonces, yo también eh, les voy a mandar por ahí un link al grupo de WhatsApp. De, um, bueno, de hecho, ustedes si buscan en YouTube uh, videos sobre el alfabeto, van a encontrar bastantes por ahí. Y este... 
Aperture los voy a enviar uno por ahí que es como más o menos como una versión de rap o lo que sea. Solo lo van a ver hasta el minuto dos días. Eh, por, por ahí se los dejo. Para los que les guste eso, ojalá les guste. Y eso sería todo, chicos. Así que yo no sé si tienen alguna pregunta antes de que los deje ir today. Any question? No. no. Okay. No. Okay. Okay. No questions. All right. Cool. Yeah. Entonces, tratemos de trabajar en la plataforma. Okay. Bueno, chicos, I'll see you tomorrow. You guys take care and enjoy see the rest of your day. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye, bye guys. Thank you. Take care. Bye. See ya. Bye, teacher. Bye bye, guys. Take care.